Shout out to the WTC game. We the chosen ones, baby. Grand rising on this beautiful day. For this is the day that the Lord has made. And we shall continuously rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you to the WTC family, to the star seeds, to the divine ones, to the chosen ones all over the world. I need everybody to please share this video. Subscribe to your boy channel. And I need everybody to give a boy, give your boy a thumbs up because what I'm about to break down to you is literally 12 signs. God is preparing you for your breakthrough. 12 signs that God is preparing the chosen ones for a breakthrough. I need every chosen one to put this in the comments below and I need you to put it and say it proudly and say, Lord, I thank you for my breakthrough. Come on now. We got to claim our breakthrough. We got to receive our breakthrough right now in the name of Jesus. Because guess what? If you don't claim it, he not going to make it come to pass. So don't be afraid to put in the comments below and say, Lord, I thank you for my breakthrough. Amen. But I'm going to break it down to you of what is a actual breakthrough. In a spiritual sense, a breakthrough is getting to experience a new higher level of spirituality. Amen. It can also be when a person gets saved and accepted by the Lord Jesus Christ as their Lord and personal Savior. That is also a breakthrough. Also, it's, 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 it's the chosen ones having an understanding of God's word. It, you, you're starting to get deeper into God's word. You're starting to find yourself reading God's word on an everyday basis. These are signs of a breakthrough. This is what is a breakthrough. It's actually a new level of 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 experience and a new higher level of spirituality you're growing higher in the lord you know spirituality your spirituality is taken off to a totally different level or you are be able to overcome habitual sin you don't no longer sin anymore amen that's is that is a breakthrough i'm breaking down to you what is a actual breakthrough amen so we're going to go through the 12 signs God is preparing the chosen ones for a major breakthrough. Amen. Number one, challenges are going to keep coming. Amen. You have to realize that in order for God to grant you your breakthrough, you're going to start to realize that challenges are going to keep coming. And the only reason why challenges are coming is because God is really testing your faith. God is really testing your loyalty. God is testing to see if you still steady in that prayer closet challenges are going to keep coming you wondering why you know this challenge is coming after that you got to go to the doctor to get a doctor's report after that you got to have surgery hey amen after that your children getting on your nerves after that you're arguing with your husband or your wife after that your friends are, are pushing your buttons after that people are are, are really vexing your spirits Amen. People are lashing out at you. These are different changes that are happening in your life. When you're going through a breakthrough, they're going to keep coming. That's that's a, that's the number one sign that God is getting ready to grant you your breakthrough. You got to make it through these changes. Amen. These challenges as well. Amen. And just know that these challenges, they only come to make you strong. God going to put you to the test. But are you able to withstand these fiery darts coming from the devil himself? Are you willing to be able to withstand these difficult challenges coming at you? Because the, in order for you to grant your breakthrough, it's not going to come to you on a silver platter. It's not going to come to you easily. Amen. So learn how to embrace the challenges that are coming into your life and just know that everything happened for a reason. Amen. We're going to get into number two. Number two is you are being you are being pushed to your limits, to your full potential. Amen. You are being pushed to your limits. God going to push you. God going to really see if you really want this breakthrough. God is really is really testing your your faith right now. He going to push you to your limits, to your full potential. And sometimes God will send other people in your life to push you to your full limits. 
Why do you think you got motivational speakers out here? Why do you think you got messengers and ambassadors to push you? And sometimes God will really push you to your full potential because simply he wants the best out of you. Amen. Too much is given, too much is required. So you have to realize as much as God has given you, even if he has given you beautiful children, if he has given you gifts and talents, you have to understand that too much is given, much is required. So God going to push you until you are really destined for greatness. And once you are destined for greatness, he going to push you a little bit further because he really wants you to be destined for even more greatness. I need everybody to put this in the comments below and say, Lord, push me to my full potential. Lord, push me to my full limits. Amen. That's number two. Number three, God seems silent lately. When God gets silent, you wonder why is he so quiet? Well, how come he ain't answering your prayers lately? Sometimes God, he may not be there when we want him, but I guarantee you, he will always be there right on time. So just know when God is silent, when God is not answering prayers, he's working on your breakthrough. Sometimes God, he'll be very humble just to see if you're going to really ride this thing till the wheels fall off. Sometimes God going to see if you're going to really get in that prayer closet and pray like you have never prayed before. Sometimes God really want to see if you have turned from your wicked ways. So when God gets silent, it don't mean that he don't want to answer your prayers right away. He going to be there when you least expect it. He going to be there when you when you really least expect him to be there, because guess what? He always going to be there right on time. So that's number three. God seems silent lately. Your prayers haven't been answered. You, you're scratching your head. You're stressing out. You're wondering what is going on. How come your prayers have been answered? God is working on your breakthrough. I need everybody to put in the comments below and say God is simply working on my breakthrough. Amen. Number four, God takes away harmful people and things from your life. I need everybody to put this um, in their notebook right now. This is number four. This is real deep. God takes away harmful people and things from your life. Anything that is harmful to you. God ain't going to let nothing harm you or hurt you in the process of your breakthrough. He's going to take all that away from your life because of the simple fact you already have been through so much hurt and pain. He don't want you to keep going through those things, especially if he's about to grant you your breakthrough. God is healing you. You are healing in the process of your breakthrough. So he's saying, you know what? I'm not going to allow my chosen one. I'm not going to allow my star seed to go through no more pain anymore. No more suffering. Amen. That's that's a mighty full and wonderful and genuine God that we serve to the point where he say, hey, this is how you know you're going to get through your breakthrough. No hurt, harm or danger is going to happen to you anymore. Amen. No weapon that will form against you. It will not prosper. Weapons may form, but it will not prosper in the name of Jesus. So that's number four. God will take away harmful people and things from your life. Anything that's hindering you from getting your breakthrough. Anything that's trying to stop you from praying on an everyday basis. Anything that is harmful to your blessing or that is harmful to your breakthrough. God going to take it out of your life. You wonder why people are leaving your life left and right. You wonder why people, you know, don't hit you up no more because God is about to get ready to grant you your breakthrough. This is something that you've been praying for. <laughs> don't tell me what my God won't do because I know my what my God will do. Number five, the Lord disciplines you. This is real big right here. The Lord disciplines you. Write this down, y'all. Number five, you have to understand that in order for you to get your breakthrough, God got to go through some, some changes of disciplining you. It's in the Bible. When I was a child, I play as a child. But when I grew older, I put away childish things. Amen. And you have to understand that God is disciplining you in the process of your breakthrough. Amen. Stop worrying about how come your breakthrough ain't coming sooner than expected because maybe you're not disciplined enough. Maybe you're not really ready for this breakthrough. But just understand that when God is changing your mind, when God is changing your spirit, he's he's not only elevating you in your abundant season, but he's disciplining you for your spiritual season. Your spirit got to be disciplined. 
When the enemy comes at you like a flood, you got to be able to stand your ground. You got to be able to, to hold your ground. When the devil is trying to vex your spirit, you got to be able to be disciplined and be steadfast, unmovable. That's what it means to be steadfast, unmovable. Be disciplined when you're going, when you're going to the throne of grace. Be disciplined when you're praying unto God. Be disciplined when you're doing God's will. He want to see, are you disciplined yet? That's number five. Number six, you are humbled to repentance. That's one thing that God, you know, does not like. Honestly, it's just too much pride. You have to be humbled to repentance. Lord, I'm sorry. Lord, I ask you to forgive me. Lord, help me to turn from my wicked ways and mean it. You got to be humble to repentance. Every chance you get, you should always repent. Every chance you get, get on your bended knees and pray and repent for your sins because we're not perfect. We all sin, whether it's a sin of omission or whether it's a sin of commission. We all need to repent. It says repent for your sins and God will forgive you for your sins. But you got to remain. You got to mean it from your heart and you got to be humbled by your repentance. Because let me tell you something. If God don't forgive you for your sins, you got you're not going to make it to them pearly white gates. That's number six. You are humbled to repentance. You know, you've done wrong. So let me tell you something. Immediately, your mind is telling you to repent, repent. Because God will forgive you for your sins, but you got to mean it from your heart. You got to mean it from your mind and your spirit. Amen. Number seven, healing comes through a recommitment to the Lord. This is how you know God is going to grant you your breakthrough. You got you to gotta tell God, look, Lord, I am committed to you, Father God. God is only way he's going to grant you your breakthrough and only way God going to heal your body rocking with pain. You got to be committed to go with the Lord all the way. It's okay to walk down that aisle and say, you know what, Lord, I'm sorry. I want to give my life back to you, Father God. Save me, deliver me from trouble, deliver me from the wicked, wicked ways, Father God. Heal me from my troubled past. God just want to see if you're going to be committed unto him. Are you going to rededicate your life to the Lord Jesus Christ? It's called recommitment. Amen. Number eight. Your hunger for God's presence increases. My God, this is deep. I need y'all to write this down. Your hunger for God's presence increases. It's like, it's like you are hungry for the Lord's presence. You ain't never been this hungry for God. Every day that I wake up, I'm hungry for God's presence. Every day I wake up, I'm hungry, hungry for God's anointing. I'm hungry for God's you know, for God's gifts and for God's talent to rest upon my life. I am so hungry and thirsty after righteousness. It says, be hungry after thirst, be hungry and thirsty after righteousness for you shall be filled. That's, 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 the, that's another sign. It's like your hunger for God's presence is going to get, in, it's going to increase higher and higher. Every day you wake up, you're going to want to pray. Every day you wake up, you're going to want to read your word. Every day you wake up, you're going to want to get a, a word of encouragement deep down in your spirit. You just want the presence of the Lord to be in your house. You want the presence of the Lord to be in your, in your car. You want the presence of the Lord to be within you. So in order to gain your breakthrough, you have to have that hunger after righteousness that thirst after righteousness and you will be filled in the name of jesus number nine your passion for studying god's word is renewed mm, that's deep you got to have a passion when you study in god's word it's like you get excited when you go into bible study <laughs> you know it says oh how pleasant it is to be in the house of god one more time oh how great it is I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord one more time. It's like you have a passion, you have a hunger, a thirst for God's word. It's, it's renewed within you. Understand what I'm saying? You go into every Bible study. You're jotting down things in your notebook. You're reading your word on a daily basis. It's like your passion, it becomes more deeper for God, for studying God's word. And never forget, there is cleansing through the word of God. Amen. Nothing else going to cleanse you more than the word of God. The word of God is more powerful than an atomic bomb. 
You'll be very, very surprised how powerful the word is. It's sharper than any two-edged sword. Amen. So we thank God for his word. And we thank God for, for his love, for his grace and his mercy. Amen. And we're going to go into number 10. You have that conviction to be more prayerful. Amen. If you're not convicted after you have sinned or if you if, you, if your spirit don't feel convicted after you have did something wrong to somebody. Ooh, that's a, that's the wrong way to go out. How can God forgive you? If you don't want to get on your bed and knees and forgive yourself or ask God for forgiveness, how can God forgive you? Amen. God said, if you if you if you ask me to forgive you for your sins, I will forgive you 700 times 700. Or it says 70 times 70. One of those sins is in the Bible. God said, I will forgive you a million times a million. But you got to mean it from your heart. You'd be very surprised. A lot of people out here, they don't feel convicted. If you don't feel convicted after you have sinned, woo -wee, I don't want to see God. I don't want to go and face God into judgment day if I don't feel convicted because God is going to simply say, depart from me. I never knew you. But if you feel convicted to be more prayerful, that's when you know God is about to be, he about to grant you your breakthrough. Every time you do something wrong or just on a, on a regular, you just want to pray just to stay in, in the fear and that mission of God, that's when you know God is granting you your breakthrough. That's number 10. You, you got that conviction to be more prayerful. Everywhere you go, you want to pray. You come encounter with people, you want to pray. Keep that with you because prayer changes things. Amen. Number 11, your mind is being transformed. And I'm going to break down a scripture that came to my mind. Romans 12 and 2 says, do not be conformed to this world. Amen. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be to then you will be to test and approve what God will is his good, pleasing and perfect will. Amen. Your mind is being transformed. You no longer do the things of this world anymore. God is elevating your mind. That's why it says do not be conformed to this world. There's a lot of people out here that's worshiping worldly things. They doing these worldly things. But let me tell you something. It's not going to get them nowhere. It says, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, which means ask God to re renew your mind, ask God to renew your heart, ask God to renew your spirit, give you a fresher anointing, ask God to make you think differently. You would no longer think the same. Amen. So don't forget Romans 12 and 2, do not be conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Amen. And number 12, this is really deep right here. One of my favorite ones. God reveals his purpose for your pain. You went through that pain in order to gain your purpose. I need everybody to put that in the comments below and say, I went through the pain in order to gain my purpose. Think about it. If you would never, ever had went through that pain, if you never went through those, those heartbreaks, those setbacks, people talking about you, oh, it was painful. If you never went through that, how would you have known your purpose? How can God grant you your breakthrough if you don't go through no pain? How can you have a testimony without having a test? Amen. So just know that without pain, God can't grant you your purpose without breaking down to the ground. God can't, he can't grant you your breakthrough and just know that everything happened for a reason. Amen. I need everybody to join my WTC mentor program because I just literally broke down to you 12 major signs that God is preparing you for a major breakthrough. My email is Jordan underscore Howard 18 at yahoo.com. Be a blessing to my YouTube channel. Amen. Whatever God put in your heart to give, my cash app is dollar sign symbol. God will provide three one. And my PayPal is God will provide three zero. Whatever God put in your heart to give, be a blessing. Amen. Don't forget to sow a seed of $11.11 .11 for the 
for all my new beginnings uh, believers. If you that's only if you believe in new beginnings. Sow a seed of of, of eleven dollars and eleven cents. Cash App and PayPal once again will be in my description below. And don't you guys ever forget, if you need a friend, you already know you got a friend in me. Amen. If you need prayer, you already know you got a prayer warrior in me. If you need motivation, if you need inspiration, you already know you got the best motivational speaker in the whole wide world in your boy. You know why? Because we the chosen ones. That's right. I said it. We really are chosen. Be blessed. Go get your breakthrough.